Migration is the movement of animals from one region to another. I moved from there to here. That's a lot like migration. Ducks don't travel just a few feet, but thousands of miles. Here in the United States, ducks fly south in the winter and north in the summer. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's the other way around. But why make the long trek? A single location won't fit their needs all year round. They need good weather, adequate food, and ideal breeding conditions. Each region they visit has different seasonal benefits. A place that's perfect for them to raise their young might not be so great for winter survival. Take, for instance, Yukon, Canada, where it can get to negative 62 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas here it rarely goes below 5, which is a whole 50 degrees warmer than Yukon. When northern lakes and ponds freeze over, it cuts ducks off from their main food source. It also leaves them vulnerable to pesky predators. We want to keep our ducks safe and here, so we use a bubbler which prevents the pond from completely freezing over. It also gives them some natural food and protection. A lack of good food is typically the main reason for duck migration. We feed our ducks daily. Since they have good food all the time, they don't want to leave. This is our duck feeder where you can send the ducks a snack. I'm gonna to go to dashducks.tv and send them some. They're loving it. really good. I'm going to send them some more. A question keeps popping into my head. Why don't the ducks just stay south? Seems like a lot of waste to go back and forth, north and south, year after year. Well, let's think about it. When the ducklings are born, there'd be fierce competition for the limited food. And sadly, a lot of them would die. Second, during summer up north, there's a lot of tasty duck food and it would just go to waste. Now that we know why ducks migrate, let's talk about how they migrate. They do so by flying. Some only a few hundred feet, others thousands of miles going about 40 to 60 miles per hour for 18 to 48 days. They maximize this migration by using the V formation. And at the head of the V is the leader. This reduces the amount of air molecules the following ducks collide with, commonly known as air resistance. As the lead duck tires, another duck will take its place. Eventually, all the ducks will have a chance to be the leader. By reducing air resistance, ducks can travel longer and cover further distances. And obviously I ain't a duck. That's all well and dandy, but how do the ducks even know where to go? Me? I gotta get my GPS to go just about anywhere. But I don't see the ducks holding the GPS while they're flying. How do they do it? Scientists think there are three main ways ducks know how to navigate. Magnetic fields, landmarks, and the skies. Do you think you could get us there? Oh. Miss Scovey must be using magnetic fields to navigate. 
Researchers have done tests where they place magnets on birds' heads and it causes them to go in the wrong direction, even on bright sunny days. Miscovy has no magnetic interference, so I think we're getting close. Another form of navigation has been seen by studying bird flyways. Flyways are the paths migrating birds take. There are four major flyways in North America, the east and west coast, the Rocky Mountains, and the Mississippi. Notice how each flyway travels along a major landmark, like a coastline, a mountain range, and a large river. Oh, look, Scofy found the next checkpoint, this large tree. What was the third way again? Oh yeah, the sky. Miss Scovey says she's being guided by the sky. Experiments have been conducted on birds within a darkened planetarium. These birds were ready for spring migration and had oriented themselves to the north. Then the scientists rotated the sky, moving the North Star to the south. The birds readjusted themselves towards the North Star, which was in the south. Hey, Miss Scoby, wait up. Good job. You found the treasure using your magnetic powers landmarks in the skies. Let's see what's in it. Oh, it's snacks. Hey, you can send snacks to the ducks. Go to feedtheducks.com. 